Well, Christian and now we're against the Premier League West Ham side today. How do you think it went? I think we played a very good friendly game. Um, especially on the ball, we were very composed and um, very relaxed in the build-up. We didn't stress and um, we felt our feeling in the team was that they were struggling when we had the ball. Um, we fixed something without the ball after the first 10-15 minutes and after that it worked really good and they had trouble finding any solutions. So. Um, but obviously also a wake-up call for us. We can't uh, allow these small mistakes to happen when we face a team that are, that, that are having that quality individually. So, um, yeah, all in all, a very good test. So was that one of the learnings from today that West Ham sort of didn't really have two massive chances but still managed to, to score those twice? Yeah, and the massive chances came out of our mistakes, really. One of them is a goal kick. You can't allow um, that to happen. Um, but we know that, um, and the second goal as well, we need to be more uh, ruthless, just, you know, kick him down or make a, a, a tactical foul and get the team behind the ball. Because it was a moment where we've been a lot like back and forth. And so, yeah, it's some good learning points and we'll, I'm sure we'll learn from it and be ready for the first game of the season. I mean, in, in general, where do you feel that yourself and, and the team are right now? I think we're in a really good spot. I think we played a really good friendly against Derby. Uh, today it looked really good. So, I mean, it was a short break, uh, but that also means that our um, stamina and our like um, physical power is at a good level. We haven't lost too much. So the test when we came back was really good and just the attitude in the team is top, really. Um, you, you would maybe assume that people would still be a bit down from the, at the ending of the last season, but people are ready to go again and, and highly motivated. And there's some big personal news for you, a, a new contract. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm just really thrilled about it. Um, it was never an op option for me to leave at this moment anyway. And uh, yeah, Brentford acknowledged my, my season and uh, I'm just really, really happy about it. And this is for me the right place, right place to be. And uh, I'm sure I, I can hit another level or two um, this following season. So the, the fans will be delighted to hear you have more levels because obviously they were very impressed by what they saw last season. Yeah, the fans have been brilliant, really. I, I feel all the all the, the kind words, um, especially on social media now that they haven't been able to come to the stadium. But I, I try to soak it all in because um, it's it's it, you just felt like accepted from the first day in the club, uh, also on the ground. But yeah, especially the fans, they've been brilliant so far, and um, also the support they gave us after the end of the season was magnificent because not every club would have fans like that after the disappointing ending uh, like that. And you've had, you've had a year at the club now, you're, you're in the leadership group with Thomas, Thomas puts a lot of, of trust in you, do you really feel that you've, you've settled off the pitch as well at, at Brentford? Yeah, exactly, now my, my family is coming here to live with me and uh, found a nice place to live and yeah, everything is starting to, I've started to, to, to find the, uh, the surroundings that, that has made me, you know, a bit more relaxed and uh, also just found uh, something that's more important than football with my son and that's often creates a better performance on the pitch because um, you don't think too much about football when you're not um, at the training ground or at matches. So um, I, I like where I am uh, and just ready to, like you said, or like I said before, um, get to the next level. Do you feel the, the leadership role that the, the squad's putting you, is that one you're, you're really growing into? Yeah, it's a lot of responsibility, but I don't mind it. Um, and it's easy in this squad because you've got a lot of leaders. Um, yeah, we got the group obviously with the Henrik and Pontus and, and so on, but also David um, and Josh uh, taking it to the next level. I think uh, Matthias is taking more responsibility. There's a lot of players in this group that are helping uh, Thomas and the rest of the staff, uh, staff. And as a manager, that's what you need. You need players to also be able to um, change things in the game and also demand a lot from the players in training. And by, by the time this interview goes out, you'll be away with, with the Danish national team preparing for games against the world's number one and, and number four sides. Yeah, it's a tough test, both against England and, and Belgium. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, being nominated for the national team is always a big thing and a big honour. So um, hopefully uh, my debut will come this time. Uh, I wouldn't be the one player that gets the most call up without getting games. Uh, so hopefully I can, I can get a minute or two um, at the, in the next couple of weeks. When you when you joined Brentford, was international ambition was it was it a big thing for you, or is it is this an, an added bonus sort of thing? It's always a big, uh, big, um, yeah, big ambition for me to be around the national team. Uh, I've been lucky enough to be a lot, a lot around the team um, recently, but uh, never really felt like a, a fixed a fixed player in the squad. So that would be the next level for me uh, now with the new manager to to be one of the the 
the names that you see in the squad every time.